Today we're going to review solving one-step equations using our inverse operations. Now, to remind you, our inverse operations are ways that we undo um, operations in math. So, if we are adding, our inverse operation is subtracting. If we are subtracting, then our inverse operation is adding. If we are multiplying, then our inverse operation is division. And if we are dividing, then our inverse operation is multiply. So, again, if we wanted to undo, this is what we use. So if we want to undo addition, we subtract. If we want to undo subtraction, we add. If we want to undo multiplication, we divide. If we want to divide, um, we get rid of undo division, we multiply. So let's look at some one-step equations. And I want you to maybe on your paper work along these problems with me. So our first example is going to be x plus 12 equals 24. x plus 12 equals 24. Now, we can probably use our mental math to solve this. Uh, using mental math means that we see the problem and we, in our head, say, okay, what well, plus 12 gives me 24, and then you just write it down, okay? So that's using mental math. However, when we look at solving equations, we need to show our work. So we're going to need to show that we're using our inverse operations to find x, not that we're just doing it in our head. And that's an excellent skill to be able to say, well, what plus 12 equals 24? But remember, as we progress in math, our equations are going to become more complex. So understanding our rules for inverse operations and our rules for solving equations will make larger equations much easier to understand and how to solve them. So we have x plus 12 equals 24. So the operation that we're using right now is addition. If I look back to my, uh, my inverse operations undo and use, I will see that if I want to undo addition, I have to use subtraction. So, I'm going to use subtraction to isolate my variable. Now, what this means is that right now, on the left-hand side of our equal sign, we have x plus 12. On the right-hand side of our equal sign, we have 24. I'm going to draw a line down the paper just so that we can easily see the left versus the right, okay? We want only the x to be on the left. And right now, the x has a 12 with it. We want to get rid of the 12. Since we're adding 12, we're going to subtract 12. And the rule of thumb goes, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So we subtract the 12 from this side, we must subtract 12 from the other side. All right, this is going to cancel this out so that we're only left with x equals, and then 24 minus 12 is 12. And we have solved this one-step equation. All right, let's look at another example. b minus 2 equals 10. B minus 2 equals 10. Again, I'm going to put a line down just so I can easily see the left of the um, equal sign and the right. Okay? Now, again, my goal is to have B all by himself on the left of the equal sign. Okay? Have B all by himself on the left of the equal sign. But right now, B is not all by himself. B has a minus 2. Okay? So again, we want to use our inverse operations to get rid of this 2 so that we're only looking at B on the left-hand side of the equal sign. 
Our inverse operations say that if we want to get rid of subtraction, we must add. So I want to get rid of the minus 2 on the left so that B's by himself. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So I'm going to add 2 to the right side. This will give me B equals 12. Okay? Now, what you always want to do is go back and check your work to make sure that you've done the math correctly. And the way we check our work is we take our answer for our variable and simply plug it back into the original uh, equation. So b minus 2 equals 10. I said that b was 12, so I'll come in and put 12 minus 2 equals 10. 12 minus 2 is 10. That, in fact, equals 10. So this is correct, and b equals 12 is our answer. All right. Let's do one with multiplication. Two x equals ten. Okay. Now we want to get x by itself, and right now x is being multiplied by two. X is being multiplied by two. So I want to isolate x to get rid of multiplication. We divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 because 2 divided by 2 is 1. That will give me x equals, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay. Let's do a division. x divided by 2 equals 5. Okay. Now we want to get x by itself. So we have a 2 in the denominator. We want to get rid of that. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2. And this is going to cancel out. And we're left with x equals 10. Okay? Now let me show you the reasoning that this works. Because when I say 2 times x over 2, what I really have is 2 over 1. And 2 times x is 2x, and 1 times 2 is 2, and 2x divided by 2 is 1x, which we can just write x, okay? So let's look at another one. x over 3 equals 2. We simply multiply both sides by 3. This cancels out, leaving us just x equals 6. Okay? So this is using our inverse operations for multiplication and division. Let's do one more example going back to a simple adding and subtracting. Okay? We have x plus 5 equals 15. We are adding. Our inverse operation will be subtraction, so I will subtract 5 from both sides. x equals 10. Again, I need to check my work. So I have x plus 5 equals 15. Plug my value in that I found for x. 10 plus 5 equals 15. 10 plus 5 is 15 equals 15. This works, and our answer for this is x equals 10. I hope that this review of solving one-step equations has been beneficial and helpful.